Believe it or not, we are talking back to school. Summer is coming to an end, and this morning we are focusing on the pre-kindergarten age. I'm joining you this morning from Primrose School of Lutz. I have Sonia Boyette here. Good morning. Good morning. I love this school. I love when you walk in. I've said this before as I've, I've been to other locations. It just feels like home. It feels like family. If you're looking for a place to send your children, this is such an important time for little ones to start learning. How do you kind of explain what this school is and what you guys are doing different here? Well, one of the things that's different about Primrose is the Primrose culture. So starting with our teachers that are in the classrooms, the leadership team, uh, the expectations of, of learning in the classroom, we provide them with learning experiences, not crafts or activities. Um, so we want to focus on the whole child. So at Primrose we believe that who children become is just as important as what they know. It's not just math or reading, it's mm -hmm. also about character development, it's also about nutrition, being fair, being honest. Those yeah. are important qualities too. When you think about this age of pre-kindergarten, it's so important and I think some people, there used to be a time where we thought, oh it's just daycare. I mean this is the foundation for these little humans of who they're going to become. Yes, absolutely. Uh, through some independent research we found out that Primrose students perform at twice the level of students that are normally in their age group. So it is so important that we get started early at an infant, toddler age, um, all the way through pre-K. And there's a term you hear, STEAM, you know, that's what you guys really try to incorporate with the curriculum here. Explain what, what that is, why that's important. Yes, so STEAM is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. So not all programs include art mm -hmm. in there, um, but at Primrose we do have an early art master's class that we teach infants all the way through pre-k. Uh, students are looking at pieces of art, they're studying different mediums, different brush strokes. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more than putting together a craft, so they're learning how to appreciate art and how to create art. And not just in the classroom, by the way. I also just recently found out, I absolutely love this, what you and, and the other schools are doing uh, here, is actually getting the kids outside, mm -hmm. learning how to garden, learning about nutrition. Tell me about this aspect. Yes, so as part of our Healthy Bodies initiative, um, so we do provide uh, lunch and snacks. It's a very balanced meal for all of our students. We have a chef that's trained and she prepares everything fresh, even items from our garden. So our kiddos go out about once a week and they learn how to take care of the plants. They learn about their growth, um, how they're growing, what grows best next to, to yeah. what. And what are the different type of, uh, I mean, I hear kale. And yes, we put kale in our smoothies. We have tomatoes and lettuce that we use for our salads, for herbs for our sauces. That's so cool. I love it. Well, you know, it's such a, it can be an overwhelming decision, I think, for parents and for families to decide. They want somebody to love on their kids just as much as, as they do. Why should someone consider and, and certainly coming out and seeing what you guys are doing here? Well, I believe it goes back to the, the Primrose culture. It's it's a family here. We mm -hmm. we truly care for the kiddos that are here. We mm -hmm. treat them like family. Uh, we, we want them to be good citizens mm -hmm. as well as learn how to read and write and how to do art. Um, it's it's more important than just sitting down with a, a workbook and doing math. So um, it's it's the culture that's here. It's what's kept me here for 15 years. Yeah. So um, and a lot of our long-term teachers as well. Well, I know you guys fill up fast, but the good news is there are still spots open. There's availability, right? There are a few availabilities okay. in a few different classrooms. So we encourage people to come as quickly as they can. And sure. that's what I was going to ask. What's the best way to figure out if your kids can go ahead and get started for the, the new year? I would definitely come in for a tour. We'd yeah. love to show show you around and let you meet our teachers and feel, feel comfortable, feel the atmosphere, and then you'd fill out a registration form, of course. All right. Well, again, we'll put all that info on our website as well. Thank you so much for letting us spend some time with you in uh, this students today. We love it. Thank you for coming. We appreciate yeah. you.